Hi everybody, welcome back to Armor Reforger and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your community server um, so you can run a custom scenario. In this case we're running the Sniper Stories Episode 2 um, and uh, how to add mods as well. We'll have a quick look at that because you may not be aware um, that with uh, um, Armor Reforger community servers, for example, these are, this is a Nitrado one, they can be cross-play. Because this gameplay you're seeing now, this is from an Xbox Series S on that particular server. And as you can see, we've got mods on here as well. We've got the Better Vehicles mod there with these kind of Mad Max variants of uh, the, the vanilla ones. And we've got the Black Hawk helicopter as well. Not only that, but it also gives you the option, if you set a password for the admin, that you can um, log in and you can have access to Game Master as well. Again, this is, you know, I'm, I'm on my Xbox here controlling this. Um, and these are the elements that I would have to kill in the scenario to, to be successful. These riflemen down here. But I could add some more in. I could delete some. I could add some uh, uh, armoured cars. Or I could give myself maybe, I don't know, a rocket launcher at the top of the, the hill. Or something like that. And also remember as well that... Um, other people can log in as well. So although this is really a single player scenario, as long as people have got the details of the server and the password if there is one, they could spawn in and we could have a team in the helicopter going down there and giving us air support. We could have a team in a jeep or maybe an, a, a BMP with a gun on, you know, going down and giving us support, um, snipers on the hills. We could do all that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, you can do all this absolutely wonderful co-op gameplay. Um, not just PvP. So let's go and have a look to see what you got to do. So this is my Armour Reforger community server from Nitrado. And first off, let's just have a quick look in the general settings. And so I've set up a server password so nobody can jump on it. And I've set an admin password, again, so that I can log in and use Game Master. Scenario, this will be something else for, for yours at the moment. Um, it's probably going to be wrong anyway. Um, FPS is 60, crossplay is on, visibility is on so people can see it in the server browser and all this sort of stuff is, is vanilla. But what we want to do is if we go into the, I think it's the config files? Yeah, if we go into the config files, this is the one we're going to edit. And the things we're really interested in is this at the top, the scenario ID, we need to change that. And also we need to add the mod for the um, uh, sniper stories as well. So, and then underneath here, we've got other mod stuff as well. And your server will probably say, if you look in this file, it will say mods, um, uh, colon, square bracket, and then there'll be another square bracket with a bracket in the middle. So all this other stuff we're putting in the middle so that it looks like that. So you've got squiggly brackets and you can go through. I'll put a link in the description below the video to um, how to add mods to your server as well so you can understand it but mods generally as they're being put onto the server you need to get the mod id then you put in a name for it whichever name you want but obviously it should really be related to the the mod and the version you leave blank so it'll always use the the most modern version of that particular mod so to install a normal mod what you would do is you can go to the um, reforge your workshop i'll put a link to this in the description below the video um, and then you would just go to, uh, let's get rid of that. You would go to the mod you want to use, and that's the mod ID there. So you would you would copy that, and you would paste that into the mod. So we would paste it there, and we would put the, the name of the mod, so M4 and Mark 18. Um, and then we'd restart the server and then when we attempted to join this server from um, the xbox or the pc it would make sure that we've downloaded that now the scenario is a little bit different we've got to do that extra step as well so the first thing to do would be go back to the workshop filter let's search for sniper uh, sniper stories episode two there it is so we've got sniper stories episode two so there's the mod id so we need to copy that out and we would paste that you know into a into a new mod section there so that would be the mod id there but what we also need is the scenario id without this as well the server won't jump into it and that's a little bit more difficult to find so what you need for that is you need to have armor on pc basically unfortunately um, and then you need to make sure if we go back to the main menu go into the workshop and then make sure you've downloaded the mod you want to use so if we look for sniper 
So there's Sniper Stories episode two. And as you can see, I'm already um, subscribed to it. And in fact, if I go into my workshop mod manager, there we go, there's Sniper Stories. And when you uh, subscribe to it, that will then download it to your local PC. And then what you need to do is find it. Um, and it will be, he says, on your computer, um, if you go to like this PC, um, go into documents, uh, let's go, actually go up one, Windows C, users, uh, let's have a look, OneDrive, documents, here we go. And then you scroll down here, it's inside my games, and then Armoury Forger. So if you look at the top of the screen now, it'll be something like that. So C, Users, Scale, in my case, OneDrive, Documents, My Games, Armoury Forger. And then what you'll see is this um, server, uh, ooh, sorry, then you're going to um, Add-ons. Now, unfortunately, all the mods that, you know, they're listed by their name, but what we can do is because we know from um, here, we can get the ID of the mod. If we copy that, then go to there and we just search for that number, that will then take us into it. We can go into it, and then if we go down to serverdata.json and we edit that in Notepad <coughs> or uh, Notepad++, this is where we're getting the game ID. <coughs> Excuse me, so there you can see it. So left squiggly bracket all the way through. So you would take that, and you would very carefully copy that, go back to your server, and then you would paste that next to scenario ID there. So it's not game ID, it's scenario. And you would paste that over the top like that. Um, and then you would change the name to <coughs> reflect what you put there, Scale Speed of Gaming Sniper Valley 2. For example, ooh, we've made a little mistake there, we've got too many squiggly lines, like that and then you would restart the server. Now there is a very, very handy um, little tutorial that goes through just this thing. And what I'll do, <coughs> excuse me, is I will link to this in the description below this video as well. So if following my rather hoarse voice has been a little bit difficult, you can do that. Um, and then you would save, and then you would restart the server, and then your players would then have access to um, your community server with the scenario running. Now at the moment there's no way to um, cycle through different scenarios. You know, once you finish one basically the other one will start. Um, and I, th I think the way you've got to restart it is restart the server. And um, I think that's the kind of the way it works. But as you can see it's so easy and so quick to actually ch you know go through different um, server uh, scenarios that you know that you just say okay okay guys go and make a cup of coffee while I set us up with sniper stories 3 or sniper stories 4 or we're going to go back to conquest or we're going to go to games master <coughs> and do it that way it really is very very simple um, and remember that the, the default ones you can find in the general settings of your server so there we go hopefully that's been useful hopefully it's answered a few questions if you've got any more questions please put them uh, in the questions box in the comments box below the uh, description if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more subscribe and i will of course see you again soon